follow the harrowing journey of three American girls as they traveled to Moscow for what was supposed to be a thrilling adventure. But what they encountered was far from what they had imagined. From the moment they arrived, they were thrust into a world of danger, persecution, and death. Watch as they struggle to survive in a foreign land where nothing is as it seems. This cautionary tale serves as a warning to anyone thinking of traveling to Russia. Don't miss this heart-pounding story of survival and resilience. The journey to Moscow was supposed to be a thrilling adventure for the three American girls. They had dreamed of exploring the city's vibrant culture, tasting exotic cuisine, and dancing the night away in its famous clubs. But little did they know that their trip would turn into a deadly nightmare. It all started when they landed at Sheremetyevo International Airport in the middle of the night. Exhausted and disoriented, they made their way through the maze of customs and immigration controls. But as they stepped outside the airport, they were confronted by a group of men in plain clothes. The men flashed their badges and demanded to see their passports. Confused and intimidated, the girls complied. But as they handed over their documents, the men seized them and led them to a nearby van. The girls screamed and struggled, but their cries fell on deaf ears. They were thrown into the back of the van and driven off into the dark, unknown streets of Moscow. As they sat in the van, trembling with fear, they heard the men talking in Russian. They didn't understand a word, but the tone of their voices was menacing. They knew they were in grave danger. After what seemed like an eternity, the van came to a stop. The girls were dragged out and thrown into a dingy room. There, they were interrogated by the men, who claimed to be officers of the Russian Federal Security Service FSB. They accused the girls of being spies, drug dealers, and prostitutes. The girls denied the charges, but their protests fell on deaf ears. For days, the girls were held captive in the room, subjected to brutal interrogation and torture. They were given little food or water and were beaten whenever they tried to resist. They had no idea what would happen to them next. One day, the door to their room opened, and a group of men entered. They were dressed in black and carried guns. The girls knew immediately that they were in even more danger. The men didn't say a word. They simply grabbed the girls and dragged them out of the room. They were taken to a dark alley in the heart of Moscow. There, they were surrounded by a group of drug dealers. The men demanded that the girls hand over all their money and valuables. The girls were too terrified to resist. They handed over everything they had and begged the men to spare their lives. But the men weren't satisfied. They demanded that the girls work for them as drug mules. The girls knew that this was a death sentence. They had heard stories of foreigners who had been caught trafficking drugs in Russia and had been sentenced to long years in prison. The girls knew that they had to escape. They waited until nightfall and then made a run for it. They ran through the streets of Moscow, dodging traffic and hiding from the police. They knew that they were being pursued, but they didn't care. They had to escape at all costs. After hours of running, they finally made it to Red Square. But as they stepped onto the square, they were surrounded by a group of men in black. The men were armed, and they had orders to capture the girls at all costs. The girls fought back with all their might, but it was no use. The men were too strong. They were captured and taken back to their captors. But this time, the girls were determined not to give up. They knew that their only chance of survival was to escape. They waited until their captors were distracted and then made a run for it. They ran through the streets of Moscow, dodging the police and hiding in alleyways. After hours of running, they finally made it to the American embassy. They pounded on the door, begging for help. The embassy staff immediately recognized the girls and rushed to their aid. They took them inside, gave them food and water, and contacted the U.S. State Department. The girls were finally safe, but their ordeal wasn't over yet. They had to testify in court against their captors, and they had to face the harsh reality of what they had been through. They had lost everything they had, including their passports and money. They had witnessed death and persecution, and they had narrowly escaped with their lives. But in the end, they were survivors. They had shown bravery and resilience in the face of unimaginable danger. They had lived to tell their tale and to warn others about the dangers of traveling to Moscow. Their story made headlines around the world, and it became a cautionary tale for anyone thinking of visiting Russia. But for the three American girls, it was a journey that they would never forget. It was a journey that had tested their limits and had shown them what they were truly capable of. And it was a journey that had taught them the true value of life and freedom.